the angry Muppet. Start your thread on the hook. Right back to the bend and cut the tag end of thread off. Go to the height of craft fur and cut a piece off about a, a pencil's width and width. Strip out all the undesirable fuzzy fibers. Take it in your good hand and measure it about two times the hook length. Wrap it in front and take wraps of thread back to the bend. Cut the undesirable fluffy part off. Secure the rest of the fibers. Take a marker and evenly bar the tail. Once that, grab some polar chenille and get its tip free of any fuzzies. Wrap it down and wrap back to the bend. Wrap, take your thread up behind the eye. Take nice touching wraps of the polar chenille up the hook shank, pushing the fibers back as you go so they don't get trapped within each wrap. You should not see any thread peeping out through the chenille. Once you get up to the thread, tie it off. Cut the polar chenille off and build up a slight incline. Take a rubber leg, fold it over the thread and tie it down on the near side of the hook. Do the same with another rubber leg on the far side. Grab five to eight pieces of flashaboo, fold them over the thread, and tie them on top of the hook. Build up a cone head and whip finish the back portion of the streamer. Cut the thread off. Cut the legs about halfway into the tail. And cut the flashaboo just at the tip of the tail. Start your thread on the hook. Head back to the bend and dip a little bit. This will help when tying in the wire. Build up a ball of thread. This will help secure the wire to the hook. Hook. It'll make a kink and less likely to pull out when a fish is on the back hook. Take the wire, tie it in, bend the front of the wire back and tie that down. This will also help with the wire not pulling out. Wrap down. This will keep the hooks straight together when you put beads on them and attach the other back of the fly. Measure the wire out and cut it off the hank. Slip three large glass beads onto the wire. Take the fly, put the wire through the top of the eye and out the bottom. Then thread the wire through the beads and bring it back over the second hook. Tie it down. As you can see, dipping the thread into the bend helped the two hooks ride straight with each other. Now bend that end of wire and wrap it on the near side. Take some Sally Hansen's and glue the wire down. Take another piece of craft fur and strip out all the fuzzies. Grab it in your good hand. Bring it on top of the fly. This should just about cover the body of the second, the first portion of the fly, and maybe extend a little bit into the back tail. Bar it with the marker again. The marker does squeeze the fibers in a little bit, but it will come alive in the water. Prepare the polar chenille as before and tie it in at the back of the hook. Bring your thread up, but not directly behind the eye, about two eyes back from the eye. Use the same process of wrap and push the fibers back as you did in the first portion. As you go up, once you reach the thread, tie it off again. Cut the end of the polar chenille off. Push all the fibers back. 
grab a bigger piece of pillar fiber, maybe about double in width as the other two. Strip out all the fuzzies and tie it on top of the hook. This should, the tips of this should reach about over the two bodies. Wrap it down and cut all the undesirables off. If the top still looks a little sparse, add another clump. And cut the undesirables off, put up a good base, and bar as just before with the marker. Take another five to eight pieces of flash boo. Or in this case, don't do that as I forgot that step. And tie a mallard flank feather colored wood duck on either side of the second part of the fly. They should extend about the second portion of the body and reach just the second hook's eye. Then bend a rubber leg over the thread and tie it on the near side as you did for the first portion. Now take five to eight strands of flash boo, fold it over the thread, and tie it on top of the hook. Cut the flash boo off, just extending back towards the back in the last part of the craft for tied in. Take cross wraps to secure dumbbell eyes under the hook, as this will ride hook down. Grab some Sanyo's laser dub, align its tips, and tie it on top of the hook. Flip the fly over, grab some more Sanyo's, and put it on the bottom. Push those two clumps back and bring your thread in front. Grab another piece of Senyos to build up the front of the fly. Once you do that, take a couple more wraps in front. Kind of stroke the fibers back, make it look the way you want. Some will come undone, but that's okay do a couple whip finishes behind the dumbbell eyes. Cut the thread off and cut the rubber legs to length. They should just about hit the barb of the second portion of the hook. Glue the head. Make sure none gets in the eye and that's the Angry Muppet.